Hello YouTube, that's the Hoshin X03. In this video here, we're gonna be running here in the loose gravel, the parking lots with dust and everything in the gravel. So this is the X03, new release from Hoshin. Has all of these metal parts everywhere. You've probably seen some of the other videos by now. As you can see, it's pretty clean. It hasn't run through the dirt. And we'll do this right here. I will be running one-handed. This is an up upgraded controller versus the other cars I revealed. And if you have not seen yet, I already recorded the X05, X06, and the last one is gonna be the X16, which is the only brushless motor here. This one is brushed, it's really tiny, and let's see how it goes. Not extremely fast. All the other two vehicles that I just recorded, they didn't flip once. Like, so let's see how this one do uh, in this uh, terrain here. I think it's gonna do well, just because it's very loose terrain. I love the LED flashing over there. Let's, let's get a shot coming right straight out of us. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, it did pop the wheelies. Let's go in the grass like we did to all the other ones. You see, it can run through the grass without a problem. It's really tall grass, by the way, in that area over there. It's not crazy fast, but it works like a charm. Getting a little bit away from those cars over there. See, it did pick up some nice good speed over there. Can rotate in circles very easily. Going through the grass once more. Let me get out of this area here. The other one is a little bit more stable to, to play. And I managed to flip. Wow, pretty cool. I did not manage to flip the other ones, but this one I did. So good to know. Yeah, it's a small wheelbase, has some tires that's a little bit bigger. So I wanna see if the servo is not gonna jam or anything, right? Because all of these loose rocks, it can easily jam the servo. It did not happen to the other cars. So let's see if this one is going to jam. So far it's holding up well. Oh, and look at what happened. One of the parts just came out, which is not good. So I'll be looking for what happened here. Looks like the whole thing came apart. So I know it happened right here behind this car. So if we need to figure out what's missing here, we'll come back here. Let me bring back to the light here in the sun. So unfortunately, yes, like you can see, and it did happen to me before, but the rub, the, rub, the metal hub snapped off. Unbelievable. Look at that. Look at the metal part right here. I know it's probably hard to focus right there. See, the metal hub just snapped off. Not good. We'll have to fix this. I believe I do have the part but these metal parts are not working so good. When I did record the first video of this car here, I managed to brake in my first run under two minutes. It was a really small crash and one of these hubs also broke. And at this time, the failure was even worse because the whole cap of this hub snapped off. Can't make it focus here. God's sake, not sure why, but anyway, you can see here the red part right here. It did snap off and broke. So yeah, I guess this will do it for this video. Let me take the cap off and look at how it looks from inside. But that's the second time that this car breaks on me and I'm not really happy about it. The battery is always, it's, it's pretty good in there. It has a big motor. 
think the only issue really was that this unfortunately that this part just broke by no reason that that shouldn't break like this I'm going to turn it off and turn it off right here we'll get into the next vehicle this one is over all right not a good surprise but it can happen so this one it's over and now let's move back to this Roshin SX16. Thank you very much for watching. Consider subscribing, leave your comments, like, dislike, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Bye.